Have you ever pondered what a cosmic collision may look like? In such case, you're in luck. Space Agency NASA has made history by attempting to crash its Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART, spacecraft onto an asteroid that is almost 7 million miles away. We've been brought up on science fiction epics where the explosions are always breathtaking. However, this is primarily due to the dramatic impact a movie must have. Space footage of asteroids slamming into each other is awesome, and luckily we have a $10 billion observatory called the James Webb Space Telescope to record these events. We can get knowledge we'll need for the future from the pictures we take now. NASA published several close-up shots of the collision. It used the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes to keep an eye on the planetary defense test from afar. These aren't the most visually arresting photographs from either telescope, but they nevertheless may prove to be quite informative. An important first for both observatories, this was the first occasion that Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope examined the same celestial target at the same time. NASA believes the collected data will shed light on the solar system's origins and development. They may use it to figure out how much debris was flung from the surface of the asteroid, named Dimorphos, when DART collided with it, and how quickly it was hurling through space at a speed of around 14,000 miles per hour, or 22,500 kilometers per hour. On September 27, 2022, the NASA spacecraft DART crashed into the surface of a minor asteroid. The collisions, despite the spacecraft's diminutive size, ejected thick clouds of debris into orbit, increasing the brightness of the twin asteroid system by a factor of three. NASA claims that a joint observational effort will shed light on the mysteries surrounding the battered asteroid. The Hubble Space Telescope is an expert at detecting optical light, the form visible to the human eye, whereas the James Webb Space Telescope focuses on infrared or heat-emitting wavelengths to study the cosmos. Much more can be learned about astronomical objects by merging data from the two telescopes. Before the collision of the 1,235-pound, 560-kilogram Deimos binary asteroid system, it was detected by both Webb and Hubble. A moonlight dimorphos measuring 525 feet 135 meters in width was struck. The moonlight sky is essentially a little moon. The purpose of the DART experiment was to move the moonlight around Deimos, which is 2,560 feet in diameter. The distance between the Earth and the asteroid duo was about 11 million kilometers, 7 million miles. DART appeared as a tiny point of light that grew rapidly brighter as it approached. As the sky darkened, a crash could be heard. As the cloud of materials, which had been agitated from Dimorphos' surface, spread outward, the shape of the dot shifted subtly. According to Hubble's data, the Deimos system brightened by a factor of three when the dart hit it and maintained this brightness for more than eight hours. Webb made a single observation of the impact site before the collision and then numerous more in the hours that followed. Webb's near-infrared camera, or NERCAM, captured these images which show a compact core with outwardly streaming plumes of material from the point of contact. Because of the rapidity of this asteroid's motion across the sky, the flight operations planning and research teams tasked with monitoring the impact with Webb face some unusual obstacles. In the weeks coming up to the collision, DART's scientists did extra work to enable and test a method of tracking asteroids three times quicker than the original speed restriction established for Webb. To the people who ran the Webb mission, Principal Investigator Christina Thomas of Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff, Arizona said, I have nothing but incredible admiration. After years of preparation and months of fine-tuning, I couldn't be happier that these observations are now happening. In the next months, the asteroid system will be examined with the near-infrared spectrograph, NERSPEC, and the mid-infrared device, MIRI. Webb observed the impact for a total of five hours, capturing 10 photos, and the spectroscopic data will shed light on the asteroid's chemical makeup. Data was obtained through Webb's Cycle 1 Guaranteed Time Observation Program 1245, led by Heidi Hamill of the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, AURA. After DART slammed into Dimorphos' surface, Hubble took another look at the binary system 15 minutes later. 
Visible light photos captured by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 reveal the impact, with ejecta from the impact appearing as rays emanating from the asteroid's body. For those of you who are curious, ejecta is the stuff that gets hurled or tossed out, such as after a volcano erupts or a meteor hits or a star explodes. Some rays appear to be bent, and the direction from which DART approached the asteroid appears to be to the left, but this will require further study by astronomers. Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 captured the images and astronomers are now pouring through them in hopes of gleaning new information about the composition of the material expelled by the collision and the nature of Dimorpho's surface. If the ejecta is predominantly composed of dust or bigger rocky bits, for instance, this information could be useful. In a statement, the European Space Agency, which works with NASA on both missions, confirmed that they would have this information. According to ESA, both telescopes will maintain their asteroid monitoring in the next few months. Webb and Hubble show what we've always known to be true. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said in a statement, Collaboration at NASA leads to greater knowledge. Webb and Hubble have taken pictures of the same astronomical target at the same time, a first. After traveling 7 million miles, a spacecraft crashed into an asteroid. The discoveries regarding the DART mission and beyond will be made by Webb, Hubble, and our ground-based observatories are anticipated with great anticipation by all of humanity. The DART expedition was the first ever attempt to manipulate the path of a celestial body across space. The mission presented a kinetic impact technique that could be employed to shield Earth from a stray space rock in the future. Don't worry, neither Dimorphos nor Deimos pose any danger to Earth. In fact, hundreds of ground-based observatories are currently studying the Deimos system to see how much the moonlit's orbit around the main rock shifted as a result of the accident. However, it could take a few weeks to get a definitive answer. The small Italian CubeSat, Lucia Cube, which was on board the Hayabusa 2 spacecraft and launched 11 days before the crash, saw the whole thing from hundreds of miles away. One type of small satellite, known as a CubeSat, has a physical size of just 10 centimeters, about 3.9 inches cubed. In 2027, a European expedition codenamed Terra will focus on the twin asteroid to investigate the impact's aftermath. So, what do you think? What will this new experiment tell us? And what other magnificent sights will the James Webb Space Telescope be able to record? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest news about the James Webb Space Telescope and other space-related news. See you in our next video.